Well, it's official. James Gunn has a plan. He and Peter Safran have taken over the DCU, hoping to right the ship. What does that mean for us, the audience? Well, it means we already have eight to 10 years of planning already well along the way. James Gunn had a video come out that it was a few minutes long where he rattled off like a dozen or so shows. I actually took notes, copious notes as a matter of fact. They're off camera on my computer over here, so I'm gonna just graze this direction once in a while. If you're listening to this on Spotify or Apple or whatever, then don't worry about it. Don't worry about what I'm doing. First thing he said was that he was excited. He's got a plan that's eight to 10 years down the road looking to expand the DCU and he wants to make this all a nice cohesive marriage. Meaning the TV shows, the video games, the movies, the graphic novels, maybe to an extent, I'm not sure if you mentioned that or not, is all going to have the same feel, same actors, and same consistency throughout. If they can actually accomplish that is another thing, but that's at least the goal. Um, what that means is animated shows are not only going to take place in the same DC universe, but are also going to extend the storylines. And the same actors over there will be voicing and playing their character in the movie when possible, or at least they'll get someone to match it as close to as they can. I'm not sure how I feel about this. With Marvel doing it already and failing miserably in my opinion, I, I don't see DC like coming in and being like, this is how it's done. Granted, from what I'm told, the DC animated space is far better than what they've done with the live action movies and far better than what Marvel does. Um, I think that probably is their bread and butter. So if they're thinking, yeah, let's keep going with the TV stuff as far as animation, and then we can tell more rich stories and lead them into feature length films. Fine. Okay. For those of you concerned that all your favorite movies from Zack Snyder are now in the trash, that everything he built up is burnt to the ground because of James Gunn and Peter Safran, that's not entirely true. James Gunn's marketing this as DC Elseworlds. These are the Batman and the Joker and things that uh, are outside of this main new timeline that he's building up. Now, I guess the Snyder stuff is kind of still in that main timeline because he does mention, oh, there's four more films coming out. The Flash 2, which is set to redo everything, reset the entire universe. Aquaman 2, which is set to, I don't know what, but I know there was extensive reshoots, so maybe they're already going to kind of, I think that's the last one that comes out of this four film. No, Blue Beetle is, that's the third one. And what, what is the last one that they're doing? Oh, Shazam 2. The one that comes out soon that no one really seems to care about, including myself, even though the first movie was, was fine. Watchable, enjoyable, kind of forgettable. James Gunn doesn't want forgetful. He wants you to remember these new movies. As he states multiple times, story is king. That's where the concentration's at. So although they did announce some major movies coming out from popular characters, there's a ton of stuff I've never heard of. And I think 99% of the audiences haven't heard of either. Or things that are just kind of head scratching. One of James Gunn's first announcements was for a TV series called Waller, which is about Viola Davis's character from the Suicide Squad and, you know, random other things in the Snyderverse. She's here. She's got a show now. Why? I, I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. I don't really care, I guess, at the end of the day. I'm thinking it's going to be another quirky James Gunn style show. I believe he is writing it. He's got it all kind of mapped out in his head and it probably will work. It's just unconventional and that's okay. That's very much okay. All of this, by the way, is what he's calling his phase one, gods and monsters. Probably because he's introducing both. God-like characters with Superman and just straight up monsters with Swamp Thing both of which were announced and we'll get to in a second. Creature Commandos is a new show by James Gunn. He's writing, producing, and loving everything that's coming out in his head about this show. I have zero excitement, which means it's probably gonna be pretty damn good. Because when Guardians of the Galaxy was announced, I had no interest and was blown away. It's always the shy ones that surprise you. Creature Commandos is an animated series, which I don't really know what to think about that. I'm not huge on animated stuff. It's fine, it's fine. I haven't been wowed by much of it lately, is all. But maybe this is where the, the ship gets steered in a lot of different ways. He, James Gunn's gonna save the DCU, and he's gonna save the animations. 
which are probably good, but I don't watch, so therefore they need to be saved. <laughs> Easily the biggest news from James Gunn's video is Superman Legacy, a brand new feature length film coming out in July of 2025. We got a couple years, but he has it in the oven. It's baking and we should let this chef cook. Let him, let him toll away in his kitchen until he gets this recipe just right. I don't know why I went all in on Superman metaphors, but let's move on. Let's move past it. This is obviously a rebirth. It's gonna be a younger Superman. Henry Cavill's out, which is unfortunate, but we have to move on. We have to grow. We have to become more adult or something. I don't know. The DCEU was a disaster. DCU is brand new. It's fresh. Let's give it a chance. Speaking of flying super people, James Gunn also announced a Green Lantern TV series. Oddly said it was going to be like true detective in space, space cops. I'm not really sure how that lines up, but I guess we'll see. It's going to be dark, gritty, Maybe we'll get uh, Daddario in there, pop in the top again. If she's in there, I'm in there. I'm ready day one. I'm ready day fun for a Green Lantern show. Give me Daddario. Woody Harrelson's going to be playing one of the Green Lanterns. He's got the Green Lantern costume, a cigarette, and a cowboy hat. I don't know what happened here, but we'll figure it out. That's more McConaughey. That's actually really no one. I'm, I'm doing a bad impression of just random assortment of people. Let's move on. I don't know about you, but every day I wake up and think to myself, why has there not been a authority TV series based on the Wild Storm characters that no one knows at all except for James Gunn? <laughs> I mean, what is this? This is what he announced. He announced a The Authority TV show based on some completely obscure characters. I'm sure in the space, in the comic world, these are popular, maybe, but certainly not Spider-Man. Certainly not Superman or Batman or Wonder Woman. We're going to do the authority, James Gunn says. And all I really can say is, okay, I'll, I'll like it or hate it when I see it. Until then, this is just news. This is just information for you. Speaking of Wonder Woman, there is something Diana related. And it's a TV series based around the Amazonian women on their beautiful Themyscira island. The show is called Paradise Lost. If it features a bunch of scantily clad women fighting each other and frolicking around in meadows, you better believe this pervert's there. Let's go. Robert Pattinson's gearing up for the Batman sequel called The Batman Part 2. Very creative title. While that's happening in Elseworlds, though, James Gunn has an idea for a DCU mainstay, and that's going to be Batman the Brave and the Bold, focused more on the Bat family and the Cape Crusader himself, the Dark Knight, aka Bruce Wayne, aka probably not Christian Bale, certainly not going to be Michael Keaton. <laughs> Like, what, what happened with Michael Keaton? Remember when it was announced he was going to play Batman like 15 more times? He's going to be in The Flash. He's going to have a cameo in Aquaman. He was going to be in Batgirl. And now it's like, nope, he's gone from all of them. He's MIA. Maybe he'll still show up, but he got a paycheck and I guess, I mean, who cares, right? I, I'm bummed. I wanted to see him again. Anyway, this Batman the Brave and the Bold is going to be a series, I think. I don't know. Gun was going fast and loose with some of these announcements. I think it's a series, probably in Gotham, I would imagine it's in Gotham. The whole thing takes place inside Batman's mind. The whole thing takes place in Alfred's kitchen. The second kitchen, uh, not the main one. Alfred has his own in the mansion and that's where this is going to take place. It's going to be a family film where they're like sitting down and eating and kind of like the intro of Roseanne. Remember Roseanne where the camera pans around the table? And Batman's there, ba -ba 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 hands the, the food over to Batgirl, who slaps her knee, and then it ends with a laugh from Robin. <laughs> that was more of a joker. Right, we don't know anything about this, so that, that's it. That's the information on Batman the Brave and the Bold. Moving on. We have a Booster Gold TV series! Yeah, baby! What is Booster Gold? Well, I'll tell you, briefly, because I know very little outside of what James Gunn told me. He's a character from the future who uses the technology to go back to the past, Samurai Jack style, and become a lovable hero. Because he sucks in the future. He's a complete douchebag trash panda. So he goes back in time, 
gets people to love and admire him, maybe save the day once or twice, and what do you have? Well, you have comedy gold. So that's booster gold. I'm not booster sold yet. We'll see. If you thought Bruce Wayne had a tragic story, Supergirl says, hold my cape. Because she's got a movie coming out. James Gunn says it's going to be depressing as all hell. She's going to have the saddest of backstories. And the sadder the backstory, the more powerful the front story. That's not a thing. Hopefully Brie Larson's cast is the character so the good old boys of YouTube can throw a massive fit. And get tons of content out of it. I really root for them. Really wish them the best. The last time I recall seeing Swamp Thing was in Injustice 2, the video game, which is older now. It's probably like eight or nine years old. Maybe, maybe more than that. I don't know. Time is a, an illusion. I'm lost. Regardless, there's a Swamp Thing movie coming out. James Gunn said this out of all of them is going to stand differently. Stand outside the norm of what we can expect from the look and feel of most of these other ones. Totally, this thing's going to be a horror film. It's going to be dark. It's going to be dirty, it's going to be grimy, it's going to be mucky, it's going to be, it's going to be swampy, if you will, if you must. Swamp Thing, cool character. You know, he gets down and dirty. We're going to see if the film can too. I'm kind of excited. A little bit excited. Half mass. I think that's everything. You could have just watched his two minute video and got that information far quicker than what I provided, but there's commentary here. There's some humor, there's some passion. And if you like that commentary, please think about subscribing to the channel, Adam Does Movies, as I post content almost on a daily basis. At least that's the goal. And with your help, we can make that a dream. And I can get that huffy bike I want. With the, uh, the playing cards that you put in the spokes that make a sound. That's really what this is all about, is that huffy bike. I don't know where the hell I'm going with this ending. I gave you my thoughts though, as much as they're worth, I think yours is worth its weight in gold. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about all this stuff? Are you excited for the next decade of DC Universe shit? Or are you on the fence? Or you just hate everything that you heard? You don't like this, the, these like weird characters that only like three people have heard of, one of which is James Gunn and the other is probably his brother. They know about these shows more than we do and hopefully they do them justice. Leave a comment, like the video. Again, please think about subscribing and hopefully I'll see you soon. Take care.